Ok, we're, we're good to go. So, Fernanda, this is Rafael Mediavilla from Criticologos.com. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the movie and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, listen, um, uh, pe people are going to hate Wade and they're going to love Jennifer because, I mean, Jennifer <laughs> uh, went through too much in the story. And, and obviously, this is a, a work of fiction, but I, I it's sadly... It's stuff that happens, and 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 even though we don't like it, it happens, and and it's it's difficult to talk about. But I wonder, uh, anyone that that would anyone that would see this movie and see themselves in a similar situation to Jennifer, what type of advice would you like, would you give them? Whoa, I think in those kind of situations, like people just react from their inner uh, most primitive uh, side. So it's really hard, really hard to give some advice because I think when you're in those type of stressful moments, you don't even think, you just go with it, right? Um, but what I must say about Jennifer is that her strength is her family. So for her, uh, that's where she, she got her, her energy to move forward and to, and to do all that she needed to do in order to save her daughter, right? Yeah. Um, uh, that what she needed and what she could because she didn't have a lot of tools in that moment to do more. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask, uh, um, obviously you had the opportunity to work on, on Hispanic uh, projects and also Amer American projects. Um, what what aspects from those, those projects you feel you turn to uh, translate to the to the American projects, or what is it something that you try to make sure that you, they're both there present in both of those projects? Well, I think I think that the, the job itself it's it's really similar. Like like um, for me, the most imp difficult thing is the language. Like mm -hmm. English is not my my first language. Um, so, so that's the most different thing and, and, and where I have to put more attention to and, and I have to work harder. Uh, because even, even now that I'm giving this interview, sometimes I, I, I lose my vocabulary and, and, I, and I don't know how to uh, say things uh, or, or, or start thinking Spanish. Um, but yeah, but that's for me like the thing right now. But and sometimes you do bigger productions, smaller productions. But uh, if if you if I have to make a difference between Americans and Latin Americans, I, I must say that it's pretty similar. It it will just be a, a difference in in the in the uh, size of of the project and the production. I, I I'm I, I'm glad that you mentioned the the language barrier because I wanted to ask I, I spoke to Olivia about this and I was like did did you force anyone on set to speak Spanish like hey you you gotta learn something here did you force anyone to to speak Spanish? <laughs> uh, not really. Uh, sometimes sometimes I do. Uh, there was a couple of of, of sentences perhaps um, that I that I use and and, and when I joke. I, there's no way my Spanish don't come, uh, and and especially in these types of, of of projects where it's so so intense and you need some spaces to to laugh and to and to be uh, more of a clown in sort sort of. Uh, but no, I didn't force anybody. I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ali, you told me the same. Don't worry about it. Um, so, so let's speak about Jennifer. Um, what is it about the character? Obviously, she's pregnant. She's having to do, deal with a tough situation, having to deal with his daughter and his stepdaughter, and you know the whole situation that's happening with his family. What is it about the character that, when you saw the script, was like, "Hey, this is something you have to do"? Oh, because she's a fierce mother. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, and 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 I love the emotional rights. Uh, so when I read those scenes, uh, for me, it was really fun to play and 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 that's the things that I that I want to keep doing you know like things that really makes me connect in an emotional sense um that's what I choose and and this was also very interesting for me because I was going to act with one of my favorite actors that is JK Simmons um so uh, yeah I I wanted to do it 
immediately. And that brought me to my other question. I wanted to ask about working with J.K. Sinem because in my opinion, just in something that I wrote, that I, that I've written in my reviews, so I want this, this two standard performances yours and, and him's. Anybody's going to hate Wade. It was a him, he performance because what he's doing, how was working with somebody like him? He's unbelievable. Uh, being with him, like, uh, it was a class from the start for me. <laughs> like, everything he did, I took it as, uh, uh, as a class, you know, like a, a, something to, to actually help my own career. Um, so I was really aware of everything that he was doing. I was uh, silent, like, I was really seeing how much I could interact with him uh, in and outside the scenes. Uh, but I was responding to everything that he was giving me. And 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 when you have an amazing actor in front of you, it's really easy to connect and to and to go with the flow. And and that's how I felt. Even though in, in those things that are really, really hard, like uh because there's very tension, like there's a lot of tension and and it, it, it was the physical scene. And when you don't know someone um and it's the first time that you're acting with him, you have to understand the way that the that that he approached the scenes and he needed to be super clear of each movement and that also helped me being more secure one final question before i let you go and, and uh, to be to people that are going to be see that are going to watch the movie what, what do you want what do you expect them to take away from it i really what i really expect one is for them to have a lot of fun uh i really that's that's to start um but second uh, to be able to stop and and reflect upon uh mental health like to to take a space and and to have conversations and to and to really understand how critical this is um now especially after covid after being in lockdown but 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 now with uh, with the kind of society that we built uh with the kind of society that we live in now and and that we don't take the space to connect uh so that's that's something that for me is very important about this film that it will give you the chance to reflect on those things it's intense movies so people are going to enjoy that that part of the movie and that yeah it will spark a conversation obviously so thank you again for the technical time to talk about the movie and congratulations once again Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.